I'm going to show you how to do a basic render using Maya software. So here we have a, uh, a mouse that um, has a uh, motion capture and I have downloaded this from uh, Mixamo doing that. All right, so the first thing what you need to do is create a project folder. So I will go to file, go to project window, and I'm going to hit new here and I'm going to name my project mouse awesome and then what I usually do is I do not put my project in the default folder for the mine here you can see here it always in the documents folder one of the reasons why I do that is because when my becomes corrupt I usually delete that folder and that sets back the factor setting for the Maya. So I'm going to change my location, choose Maya, and I'm gonna hit select. And another thing is that it becomes a lot more faster because I know where the file is. And then I'm gonna hit accept, do that. And then I'm gonna hit save as mouse and hit continue so the next thing in here what i want to do is i want to create a camera and that's the camera that's going to uh that's where we see the render so we're going to hit create camera and here you can see the camera is right here i'll make it a little bit bigger and this does not affect the way how the animation is going to look by changing the size to look through this camera what you want to do is you want to go to panels, perspective, and camera one. I'm going to zoom out. You can see the mouse here. And then I want to bring to my resolution gate. And this here is what we will see when a render do that. So if it was off like that, it will be off the side here, cropped off like that. So I can exactly see what is going to be render. So the next thing here, what I want to do now is I want to go into my rendering settings. There are many ways to get there. The easiest way to get there is if you go here to the top, you have a little clapper with a gear on. So if you click that, that brings up the rendering setting. Another way to do it is go to Windows, Rendering, and Rendering Setting. So right here, you can see that by default, it sets up Arnold renders, and uh, we do not want that. We want to put in Maya software. So this is the basic render for Maya. So what I like to do here in here, the file name prefix, I like to add a token that's called. So if I have more than one camera, I know which sequence uh, that is. So if I go and right click in here and click camera, so each of my file name will be camera. And if I have a second camera, it will say camera one. So it'll be a lot easier to edit in Premiere or Final Cut or After Effects, whatever uh, editing program you have. And then I'm going to underscore that and hit mouse. And we can see here, if you look up here, this is the path where all my images uh, sequence will be rendered to. So you can see Maya, new mouse, awesome, and images. And then in here, we can see the, how they each uh, image or uh, it's going to look like. So right now it says perspective mouse doing that. But we are in the uh, perspective camera. If you go in here, we can see the renderable camera is perspective. So if I change this to camera one, doing that, and now come on. I don't know what's, what's happening. Let's try that again. There we go. I guess there's a little bug there. <laughs> so now we can see the correct name, file name. Okay. So next, what you want to do is, if you scroll down here, uh, this is the size it's going to render. So right now we can see it is 960 by 540. Uh, you're welcome to change whatever size you want. But if the bigger the, uh, the size, how long it's going to take to render. And what I want to do now is I want to figure out how many frames do I need to render. 
So if I click the bones right here on the uh, animation, this is where all my keyframes are located. So right now it says 95, but I don't know, it could be more for keyframes. To make sure, I'm gonna spread this apart. And you can see, uh, yes, 95 frames I'm gonna render. That's how many keyframes. And what I could do also here, uh, let's go down here and change this to uh, name. And you can see here now, uh, this is the format it's going to be. So it's going to be name uh, underscore uh, mouse and the frame number. And if we go down here, I'm going to change the start frame to one and the end frame to uh, 95. And then if I go in here, uh, my software, this is where you can change the quality of the render. So the quality, let's do production quality. And it says the highest quality. And another thing here I could do here, I can hit retracing quality and hit here. And right now I have no lights in the scene, so there will be no shadow. But this is only for rendering. Basics. All right. So right now uh i think the next thing here i want to do is i want to animate my camera so it would be a little more interesting so i'm going to go in here uh, right now make sure you select your camera if the camera is not selected you can see the white there's no white border and as soon as i select my camera you can see now my camera is active and that means i can animate do that and not a way to do that by not selecting the outliner you can just select this icon up here and now you can see the, uh, the camera selected. So I'm going to go in here. And then I'm going to hit S on my keyboard. And then I'm going to go out to 95. Uh, 95. There we go. I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to zoom out like that. So I have this cool little animation if I play this. That looks great doing that. All right. So another thing what I do is before I render, I always check to see everything I've done correctly in my render settings. Uh, some occasions I choose the wrong camera and the camera being facing away the wrong way. And I just have rendered a complete emptiness, uh, which sometimes I've been rendered over for a couple of days and then I have to re-render it. So uh, it's always a good idea to double check before you render. So I go here now, that's great. Yes, but underscore score like that. One through 95, I'm rendering with camera one. Uh, this is a great setting. And then for my quality, I put production quality and uh, retracing, doing that. All right, so the next thing here, I'm ready to render. So I will go into my rendering menu. So I click modeling and go down to rendering right here. And then I'll go up to the render and render batch. And I'm going to hit this icon right here, a little square. And this brings up, you can see I'm going to uh, render using all my processors. Um, and that's usually checked by default. So I, before I render, I like to bring up my uh, script editor. And based on the script editor, I get to see um, what frame is being rendered. And also I get to see when it's done rendering. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to hit batch render and I can hit continue and here we go. Okay, now you can see that uh, my rendering is complete and you can see it says here is render complete and also down here it says the same thing, which is the render script editor as down here on the bottom. So now I'm ready to edit this in Premiere. I have just opened up Premiere and I have created a project called Mouse. So to create a project, all you have to do is go to New and Project and Save. So to bring in the sequencing images that I just rendered in Maya, I'm going to go in here and double click. And then in here, I'm going to choose my first image or sequence, which says 001. And you can see here, these are the 9 to 5 uh, images that was uh, rendered out of Maya. And then when this is selected, you really want to make sure that images sequence is checked. If it's not checked, only one image will be imported. So I had here, 
I'll go over to open. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this to my timeline. Through up here for now. And then if I hit play, I have my animation. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some um a cool little background here. Let's see if I can find something here. Okay. And I'm gonna scale this up. Oop, not the mouse. <laughs> and this, scale this up here. Play in cool little, can't allow this real bad resolution. <laughs> oh well. Uh, bring it in here. And then what I'm gonna do is get in some cool music. Doing that. Or sound effects if you wanted to. Things you see the sound better. Where it starts right there. Now I hit play. Okay. And then I'm going to uh put this off. Alright, so in the so in the next thing in here, I'm going to uh render this out. So I'm going to select my uh, uh, sequence right here, and I'm going to go to uh, export media. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's set to H.264. And then the output, I want to put this to the desktop for now. And um, I want to change my preset, since I know I will put this up to Vimeo. So I'm going to select Vimeo setting here to 720 and then I'm going to hit export and then I'm going to wait. All right, now let's see if this works. Yeah, it works. So that is how you import SQL images into Premiere. So thank you for your time and everyone take care. Bye.